Welcome, residents. Uh, happy to be back with you on our talk of the town with Supervisor Dick Thurston. And I am hoping that so far your summer, uh, while well, a little bit out of the ordinary, of course, uh, but enjoying the summer uh, despite some of the hot weather. Uh, but I really uh, want to remind you, you know, to you know, wear your mask whenever you're out publicly without being able to socially distance whatever type of mask uh, you, you may have that works, uh, and then and be safe. You remain well, you know, during this period of time. Uh, since it is now uh, the summer season, and we have uh, been doing a lot of work, as you know, to our parks, and I really w invite you to come on out. If you haven't been out to our parks, uh, any of them, uh, we have all together about 14 uh, designated you know, park lands, and we have other lands that the town manages. We have been doing a lot of exciting things to it and slowly uh, renovating, adding new features like uh, better playground equipment, and we will be uh, continuing to address those levels at our board meeting. But I think we have been trying to really address uh, the family and a, a greater family environment through our parks uh, systems. So please, come on out. Uh, we are you know, really hoping that uh, you uh, continue to actually uh, make improvements even to your homes. Um, our building and grounds department has been fully open. You know, we have been actually uh, overloaded you know, with permit requests, but it's good to see people improving, you know, their properties, uh, making it so that you can really enjoy uh, year-round uh, even more uh, than we used to. So come on in and uh, do, you know, pick up your, your permits. Our staff is very friendly. We're willing to uh, work with you uh, the best that we have. You know, sometimes we do have some uh, challenging, you know, situations, but we're here to help you and we're open all the time. Today I'm sitting in town hall just to emphasize that our town uh, has been for some time and continues to be you know, fully open to the public. Uh, we are seeing oh, approximately uh, almost 100 people a day you know, coming by. Uh, approximately 70 or so are here uh, to see uh, some people, some another 20 or 30 are coming by to drop off uh, materials and information. We are following uh, very uh, closely uh, the developments with respect to COVID-19, but so far since we've been open to the public fully uh, since July 6th, uh, we have not learned of any uh, incidents, any health concerns arising from any visitations here. We will check you in at a desk, uh, and we will you know, uh, provide a mask if you don't have one, and we'll take your temperature and ask you to fill out a form, uh, and the purpose of that is to help with contact tracing if someone should get sick uh, that you may have visited, or vice versa. So please come on out. Uh, we're really uh, looking forward to, I enjoy meeting with uh, residents as they are in our hallways at a socially distant uh, you know, setting. So, you know, come on out uh, when you can. Uh, with respect to COVID-19, I think that we as a community have continued to do really a, a, an outstanding job. And while we have seen uh, the numbers of actual infected cases in the last uh, several weeks go from a low of five to 17 currently. Uh, that's as a result of a lot of testing. A lot of asymptomatic people are being uh, you know, tested and discovered. Uh, but overall, uh, the good news is, is not just for our community, but also the Mid-Hudson region, you know, we are seeing the positive you know, rate at uh, slightly under you know, 1 percent, continue to maintain that. So that's a very good statistic. We do want to get it lower than 
the 0.9 you know, percent that we see, you know, but continue to you know, socially distance yourself, wash your hands, wear your mask, as I said earlier, and we'll be able to lower the active cases. I think right now throughout the county we have approximately 243 active cases. Uh, the, the good news is the number of fatalities remains unchanged, even though it's a high number uh, of 153. But you know we are really steady. The number of hospitalizations is down to a very low number of three. Hopefully that will clear out very soon. So the uh, region continues to be on you know the progress of uh, opening. Uh, I've been asked uh, about gyms and some other gatherings. Um, we haven't received any new information from uh, Governor Cuomo. Our county executive, Mark Molinaro, is constantly working this to try to get additional relaxation of some of the rules uh, that are uh, out there you know, today. Uh, last week's storm, I'll talk about that briefly. Uh, we had uh, major disruptions uh, in southern Dutchess County, and nearly 50,000 people were without you know, utility service. Uh, you know, thanks to uh, you know, Central Hudson's uh, working, you know, we got the restorations in place, not as quick as we would like, but actually by uh, Saturday morning, I believe that nearly everyone, if not everyone, was actually restored to power. What had happened was the convergence of really kind of the worst case scenarios uh, and, you know, the uh, you know, public utilities, uh, whether or not it's electric or uh, also our cable, such as Optimum here in the town, were kept you know, t taken totally off, uh, off guard. Uh, in fact, uh, during our senior uh, pickup lunch uh, held at the junior high school when the storm was starting, I was talking with several folks there and no one anticipated the uh, severity of the wind damage that occurred. I, I won't say, actually it's not no one. Uh, our highway department, Mike Sheehan, and working with me and his crew, we were prepared for really the worst case scenario and in fact, as a result of having his crew available, we were able to get out to the streets and clear the trees, uh, all the trees that did not have electric power down uh, very quickly. Uh, and that enabled additional relief from our utility company. So the uh, hats off, kudos, uh, shout out to Mike Sheehan, our highway superintendent and his crew for doing you know, really a fine job. Uh, fortunately, you know, we have, as a town, been able to maintain very close contact regularly with our utility providers uh, and with, with cable vision, so that some of the experiences that others had throughout the area uh, were not uh, as uh, severe as they, they did suffer. So, again, I want to thank everyone for your patience. What really worked this time for us, I believe, while some restoration did take longer than people hoped, uh, the, the key, I think, here was the communication within the town. Uh, thanks to residents who were constantly updating me through Facebook, uh, through our town website as to locations where power was out. I was able to get those into our local liaison at Central Hudson, Robin Moore, very quickly, and then able to get the crews out there. Also, people were calling and texting me, and uh, that really uh, helped uh, quite significantly with addressing the problems, albeit uh, slower than we all you know, would have hoped. Uh, we also encountered the county tried to procure uh, a lot of uh, dry ice, and there's a national shortage, believe it or not, uh, but they were able to uh, obtain at least a thousand pounds uh, for uh, the area, including through uh, Nick D'Alessandro, we got a distribution center uh, located over in uh, Hopewell Junction area uh, of Southern Dutchess County. So now thanks to all of you, and then in the future, uh, continue to reach out. If you still have any lingering problems at all, please give my office a call, and then we'll address them you know, promptly. Uh, and like I said, Optimum, I believe now, advised me yesterday that there should be no one within the town of Wappinger that's without a cable service through Optimum Altice. But if you do have a problem, please you know, let me know. Uh, sitting here in the boardroom, uh, we do have a practice for our board meetings uh, since early July of having live attendance. We welcome you to come here. The board agenda for 
The August 24th meeting will be posted uh, next week. Uh, Thursday is when we generally will post those. And again, through social distancing, we do have participatory um, uh, board meetings, uh, and, and not just the town board, but also zoning board of appeals and our planning board. So uh, we will be resuming our regular schedule starting on the 24th, uh, regular twice a month meetings in September, October, and uh, November. And uh, we'll be starting our budget process during the September you know, time frame. So, Thank you, you know, for all of your support and assistance uh, during the various challenges that we've been facing. And uh, please continue to enjoy your summer. Uh, you know, with one month to go from the traditional point of view, I guess depending on how the school, uh, we've been trying to get information from the school superintendent's office as to what they're doing. And I think we are looking at a meeting, a Zoom meeting next week with the uh, school superintendent's office. So please continue to enjoy you know, the summer days, uh, stay safe and remain well until we next meet again. Thank you very much and have a great day.